Trains and Boxcars of the Holocaust by Kendall M. All of the trains had no accommodations. They were cattle cars, approximately 30 feet long. The floors were covered in limestone to burn the prisoners' feet. There was also no food, water, or sanitation. The prisoners were given a bucket to use the restroom in. Most rides took hours to days. The longest took 18 days, which traveled to Corfu. When they opened the doors, there were no survivors. Everyone was already dead. When the Jews were lined up, they were told they were being moved somewhere better, with better accommodations and better conditions. During the liberation of the Jews, Nazi leaders insisted that prisoners were not exterminated, only evacuated in the trains. Although some were evacuated and survived, most were sent in the trains to extermination camps to most likely be sent to the gas chambers. Some trains had cover and some didn't. Prisoners would be shipped in either, no matter the conditions. Sometimes prisoners were shipped in open cars in snow or below zero temperatures. Once prisoners arrived at one of the most infamous camps, Auschwitz-Birkenau, they were forced to leave their belongings and line up in two lines. As they arrived, they were brutally split from their families. They were separated in two lines. There was one line to the left and one to the right. To the left were elderly men or women, young women, children, or those unfit for hard labor. To the right were young men or those fit for labor. The left and right lines were sent in different directions. The left line would be sent to the gas chambers for immediate extermination, and the right line would be sent to forced labor camps to eventually die of starvation, exposure, and or forced labor. Not all prisoners on the trains were Jews. There were people called asocials, which were people targeted by the Nazis who did not fit into their master race. These prisoners included gypsies, prisoners of war, criminals, and homosexuals. Not all train routes were located in Germany. There are trains all over Europe, or Nazi-controlled countries of Europe, that were used to evacuate the Jews to Germany to most likely be sent to the gas chambers. Trains or boxcars played a key role in the Holocaust because without them, the liberation or evacuation of Jews would not have happened. There would have been no way to transport the Jews to the extermination camps to get rid of the evidence of the horrors that took place in the concentration camps. Also, during the Holocaust, there would have been no way to transport the Jews to extermination camps so that there would be even amounts of Jews in each camp and there would be no overflow. If there were no trains or boxcars in the Holocaust, not as many Jews would have been killed and there would probably be more survivors.